So are we ready? We're gonna give Willow her first scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. So here we go. So the first thing is we wanna make sure that the bottom of your bathtub or sink in this instance is secure for your puppy to stand on. So I like our little rubber mats. The next thing is you want a shampoo that's gonna be safe for your puppy. Personally, I've been a fan of Four Lager for many, many years, and we're gonna use the Soothe for the puppy because when you flip that over and read that ingredient panel, look how simple and clean those ingredients are. Perfect for a puppy. We're also gonna have some cotton balls that I'm gonna stick in her ears to help prevent the water from getting in there. And if you can see over there, her mom has the puppy towels on the stove warming up to stay nice and toasty. How sweet is that? I never thought of that idea. But what I've done in the past is stuck them in the dryer, let them tumble around, and pulled them out right before I needed them. Then you're gonna need some healthy, tasty treats. So now we're gonna get ourselves a little puppy named Willow. Please don't hate me after this, Miss Willow. And one, two, three, in she goes. Oh, she's like, oh no. So we wanna make this as positive as we possibly can. Yes, a good girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and give her some treats. Ooh, ready? Good job for being in the tub. Today is the sink. Little dogs sometimes can stay in the sinks for their baths. Other times we want to transition them to the tubs, it just depends. So I just want to give her a positive experience of being in here. So we're going to give her some treats. Good girl! Aren't you so smart? And you could do this daily and work your way towards that scrub-a-dub. We're going to take it and see what happens. So we're going to give her some treats while being here. That's a good girl! Good job! I'm going to start the water so she can see that going. Good girl. Maybe I should move the treats on my side so she doesn't try to steal it. Good girl. Good job. Do I do a little licky? We just want to watch the puppy or your adult dog and make sure we're happy with everything that's going on. Good girl. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the water. That didn't bother her, which is good. She's getting her breakfast through her rewards. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to put the cotton balls in her ears. I want her to see what I'm doing. And just a little duck in there. Not too far down. Don't forget that they're in there. All right, so there they are. Give her another reward. Remember, things are going to be a little more muffled for her. What we want to do is we want to get a nice wet puppy before we bring our shampoo into the picture. We want to make sure that water's warm but not hot. She can take another look at it because she's interested. Sprayers are always best and easier to use than a glass of water. So if you can do a sprayer, that's ideal. I'm going to go ahead and spray to the side. Let her look at it. Let the sprayer warm up. I'm going to lift her head up and go down her back. I'm going to touch her along the way. I'm going to be as careful as I can with the water to make sure that it doesn't go in the ears. Hold on to a puppy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give her some treats. Good girl. That's a good girl. Double check the water. Make sure it's the right temperature. Good job. Double check it when it comes out the hose. Get her wet. I'm avoiding, we have a cotton ball that came out. So we're going to have mom find another cotton ball. So that's a good thought. Maybe we have multiple cotton balls on the go, ready to go. I'm going to treat her. Get her all wet. And she didn't want that treat at first, so she might have been too nervous. Okay, so it was the other ear. So we're going to do a cotton ball again since it came out. I'm going to stick that in there. Good job. We're going to get that head a little bit. Ready? We're going to lift up. I'm going to put my thumb over the ear canal so I don't get any water in that ear. And go down the ends of her ears. 
Look at your good girl and tell her how smart she is. Good girl. Once she's wet, I'm going to take my shampoo, give it a little shake. You want to take a check? Maybe we'll give her just another little treat. Give you another little treat. Good job. We're going to do a little squirt, a little lather, and I'm going to come up by that neck, up at the top of the head. Come underneath here. Good job. A little scrub-a-dub along the way. Aren't you so smart? Aren't you so smart, you are such a good girl, and tell you how smart you are and pretty? Good job! And for our first puppy bath, we don't have to be perfect. You know, we want to make sure that they're having a good experience with it. I'm going to grab a little more water here, get it down here. Good job! Aren't you so nice? Go underneath those armpits, get a little more water to get that shampoo going. I do a little another squirt. Oh, here you are. You want to make sure we don't have a puppy fall. So you want to hang on tight. Yeah, so good girl. I know. I'm going down to her tail, wiping her bottom down here too. Yeah, so good girl. Down to the legs. I'm going to lift up the bottoms of her feet. Oh, it's a good girl. As I get you down there, such a good girl. Hello. Such a good girl. You want another treat? No, got a little. Good job! Choo choo choo! Was that too big? Choo 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 choo! Yeah! We'll go ahead and bring her back down here. She's going in my, my little thing. There we go. Go under here. A little water again. Yeah, so good girl. Yeah, so good girl. We'll do the front a little bit. Get that chest. Yeah. So I'm going to come underneath this chest, underneath her face here, give her a little scrub-a-dub. Yeah, so good girl. Under these front legs. Yeah, so good girl. Yeah. All right. So to do the face, I like to do towels, washcloths when possible. So I'm going to get that washcloth wet. It's a nice warm temperature. I'm going to come over here and wash her face. Yes, and get it wet. I don't tend to use shampoo around the eyes. I just tend to use warm water. I don't want it to drip in those eyeballs, but I do want to get underneath those eyes. Make sure we get any eye goopers. I want to make sure I don't get it in her nose. I'm going to come around her lippies. Yes, a good job. Aren't you so nice? Yes, a good girl. And when you're scrubbing under here, you want to make sure you get all those bits and parts. That's a good job. All right. So I want to go ahead and get her ears a little bit. But again, I'm just going to use the water from my hand because I want to make sure that I don't get in her ear canal. And then just a little shampoo to get a little rubbing. Yeah, it's a good girl. Just to get those chips. Good job. Good job. And I'm going to, the cotton ball's in there, I'm going to fold her ear to her head. I'm going to hold it down with my hand, and I'm going to spray from the canal down, so that I'm not actually getting the ear canal. So let's go on this side. So I'm holding here, so we're not getting that ear canal. And then we're going to lift up. I'm still closing those ear canals. That's it. We're going to come underneath here. Gonna hold that just to look up here. So nice. Aren't you such a nice girl? Please don't hit me. Yeah, so good girl. Yeah. Let's go ahead and give her another treat. Go get another treat. I'm gonna come in here. We really want to make sure that we get this shampoo out. That's where. Sometimes people make a bit of a mistake is they don't wash, they don't rinse enough. So you want to make sure you rinse really well. And I just like to kind of take my hands around there, make sure I'm getting things nice and clean. Go to those toes, back to those legs, that bum area. And before her bath, she was brushed so that we're snaggle free and clean and clear. Underneath here, we're gonna lift that head up again. 
We'll make sure we get back behind the neck. And then we lost an ear again. So remember, I have the cotton balls for extra security, but when I'm rinsing and washing, I'm making sure that I'm really keeping those ears canal free of water. Alright, I think we're rinsed. We get inside those thighs. Let me double check here. One, two, three. See, that's not a fun three. And when in doubt, go ahead and use your washcloth. So if you want to get in here and wash and rinse a little better, use your washcloth. Good job. Good girl. Big all ears. All right. Give her another treat. And tell her, Willow, do you forgive me? I'm so sorry. I know most dogs don't like their scrub dogs, but you are so good on your first scrub dog. You are first so good. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and kind of squeeze off any extra water that we can. So I just go down their back, kind of like a gentle rub. Go down the legs, lift them up. Don't squeeze too hard. I'm going to squeeze those legs and toes. Good job. Go back down here, lift up. Good job. Good job. Good job. And as you see, one of my towels are in the backdrop because we had a little too much lighting in there. So again, I'm going to do the same thing to the ears. We want to make sure we get those cotton balls out. We have any left? And nope, she knocked them out all by herself. <laughs> we also want to make sure we throw those cotton balls away so that no puppy eats them. See if we can give her another reward. Choo, choo, choo. And our nice toasty towels. And while she's still in there, I'm, I said while you're still in there, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start drying her off a little bit. I'm going to start with the head and the ears and just do a little dry. I'm going to go ahead and get her back in here because I don't want her to fall out. And plus I want to kind of start her to get used to not coming out on her own. So we'll come in here. We can also do this where we take the towel over top of her and under her and we do a nice little dry. Oh, it's such a good girl. Am I going to rub your butt? Am I going to rub your butt? Yeah. The more you can dry her in here, the easier it's going to be on that hair dryer and the less that you're going to have to do. So yes, oh, it's a good girl. And we did do a potty right before. Good job. You do want to be careful with the head shakes, which is a broken blood vessel in their ear and it can swell up and need draining. So when they do do that head flop, I usually put my towel over it so that it doesn't flop so much. Because their shake off, is really good at getting that extra water off. So, and we're just gonna come under here. And again, I wanna try to dry as much as I can under there. And I'm being gentle and just kind of giving her a little rubby dubby dub. A rubby dubby dub. A rubby dub dub. A rubby dub dub. A rubby dub dub. Four cavaliers in the tub tub tub. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Oh, it's so good. Who oh, is so good? Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. So I want to go ahead and get this front leg into a good girl and the belly. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're going with their legs so that you're not pulling their legs out in places that they aren't supposed to go. So it's going in and out with their proper joints. Good job. And with little dogs like this that you're not breaking any bones because we have little petite little leggies. Got little petite leggies. Got little petite leggies. Can we get that butt? You ready? One, two, three. Good girl. Yeah, we're going to come down under the belly. Oh, it's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah, that was so nice. All right, going to get that butt. You ready to get that butt? One, two, three. <laughs> get that butt. Get that butt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, get that butt. And we're just trying and going through that tail. Oh, it's a good girl. And we get that leggies. Oh, so cool, girl. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out this little puppy, and we're going to go take a spot on the floor and work with the hair dryer.